hey hi guys welcome to pcf okay. so in our previous class okay so in our previous class we discussed about the keys right so different different types of keys constraints okay foreign key primary key and unique key not null and so everything we discussed right okay um, not null and unique key so we discussed so today in this class okay today class we are going to discuss what is index where we can create an index okay what is the binary okay binary tree or balance tree how it works okay how that works and uh, how to find the whether the index is there or not on a table okay and how to create index with the sql script and okay how to drop also we can see and what is the table scan and what is the index scan and index seek and your types of indexes okay these are the concepts we are going to discuss now now first of all what is index okay so in general life guys okay if you go to the book okay if you take a book in book also we'll have the index so what is the purpose of index to make your search faster the main goal of index is to make your search faster so where is the lesson number and you can go to the that lesson directly with the page number right the same way the same way so index is also will make your search faster when you are selecting the data okay when you are when you have a millions of records okay if you want to select the data okay but in in general way how it will go in general way suppose let me take a new uh, this one okay suppose if you want to search uh, 100 records okay it will go sequence by sequence okay okay so let me okay let me increase the size okay so it will be very easy to understand okay suppose so if you have one and two three four and five okay five and so on so okay so on so you are making such 100 suppose or 50 okay you can make such 50 so how many sequence how many uh, number of times you have to go with the sequence okay one and two and three and four so on so 49 reads okay you have to do 49 reads right so it will go with the sequence but but when you create an index okay so without index it will go like sequence by sequence okay, okay? without index it will go sequence by sequence and also index will create a physical okay it will also it, it will also do the physical order of the data okay suppose if i create an index okay let me create a table Okay, let me create a table. Okay, so if the table is existed or so not. Okay, let me create an employee table. Okay, just a minute. Okay, go here and then click new tab. Okay, use sample, sample, and then go. Okay, so F5, press F5. Okay, so F5, you can, and then create a table, guys. Okay. So if the table is already existed, so it will uh, drop the table. So in the table, I have already, so without, okay, sorry, without primary key will create, okay. Primary key automatically create the index case, okay. I, as I explained in my previous class, okay. So primary key automatically create the index, okay. Now I don't want to create index, okay. If you, if I don't want to insert, create an index, okay, how the data will be, okay. Suppose oh, I'm trying to insert this data, okay. I'm trying to insert this data in a, that table okay so this is the data we have so i'm inserting this data okay so let me execute this okay and then see so the order okay id order c okay so what is the order this order is not correct in order okay let's see okay how i inserted so the same way it's a, it has it has been inserted okay let me select the star from this tbl employee okay okay let me take this star from tbl employee and then execute it okay so it will give a results okay it's not in an order but but if i create a primary key it will automatically create the index right so as i said so let me drop it again okay uh, let me create with the primary key here okay primary key and then create it create now okay sorry tbl employee already existed okay let me drop it okay and then create it okay so now insert the data so it will do the physical order of the data guys okay 
it will do so insert and select also okay let me select this data also okay so it will insert and then it will select the data see now it's in order okay that means index will create physical so how we can find whether it's created index or not okay you are saying index is created right so how we can find so sp underscore help index is there okay help index help index and then you can give a table name okay it will give the index okay just and then execute it guys okay see it has been created the index and also you can find here in a database okay what is our database sample database right you can go to the sample database and then go to the table okay in the table we have a tbl employee right so in the tbl employee there is an index column okay there is a index so here is the indexes and uh, sorry refresh it not this one okay sorry without uh, underscore we have a tbl employee where is the tbl employee okay let me refresh it where is a tbl employee this one guys nice, okay so you can go here and then you can go to the index concept and then there also you can see the key okay that way also you can see the key okay so primary key automatically create the index and also it will do the physical order of the data case okay it will do the physical order of the data what is index it will make your search faster okay Be, uh, how the example i have taken book book example i have taken okay how you will search in a book okay if you go sequence by sequence in a book you will uh, the your search will be late, uh, late right so if you go the index number and then if you find the lesson and then the lesson or page number if you can find so you will go directly to the lesson okay so that is about the index case okay index makes your search faster okay that is the main goal of index next so what we have written in a notepad okay yeah so next so index okay hope you understand what is index and then so how to create an index okay so so without index it will go with the sequence and sequence okay when you create an index okay how it will go okay it will go with the binary structure what is binary structure okay how it works okay let me open it guys okay let me open okay i have already created the binary structure how it will be suppose you are searching 50 okay you are searching 50 okay these are the leaf nodes case okay these are the leaf nodes okay just a minute so it will have the uh, three levels okay it will have the three levels um just a minute root nodes okay this is the root node guys okay this is the root node okay this is the root node and this is the non leaf nodes okay this is the not non leaf nodes okay non leaf nodes and these are the leaf nodes guys okay so these are the leaf nodes okay this is the bt structure okay so how it is making search, you know, okay, leaf nodes. That is the reason search first, guys, okay. So it will search first 50, okay. So it will go, sorry, where is that? My cursor. Okay, you, so whenever you search 50, so it will divide it into two part, okay. So whether uh, 50, okay, so it will check whether the 50 is great, greater than or equal to 25, okay. So it's not equal to or not greater than, okay. It will, this part totally, it will avoid okay it will avoid this total part and again it will come to this 50 so here it will search and uh, 50 and 40 and 50 right so it will check whether this is equal to 50 or 50 greater than 50 or equal to greater than or equal to 50 so this is not equal to and not greater than so this part also completely avoid okay only it will search only how many 10 records and then it will find so that is the reason okay it creates internally it creates the binary structure okay internally it will create the binary structure and then okay so it will make such faster okay that is the balanced tree structure okay b tree or balanced tree structure guys okay so when you when you don't create an index it will go with the sequence as i said in excel right okay as i said in excel so how it will go so without index it will okay without index it will go like sequence by sequence case okay sequence by sequence and then it will do 49 reads okay 49 reads and then 
it will find. But in binary tree structure, okay, in binary tree structure, it will go with the only nine records, nine structure, nine uh, searches, and then it will find the data. That is the reason index is a very fast. Okay, index is a very fast. So fine. Okay. So even we can create an index. Okay, we can create an index with the you know script also. Okay, how we can create index? Okay, in sorry. So create index index name. Okay, create index index name. Create index index name. Okay, whenever you create an index, so you should to you should start with ix guys. Okay, index. Okay, index means ix. So you have to start with and then. So naming convention should be always okay table and then on column okay which column you want to create an index if, suppose if you want to create index on salary okay you can create a sal okay and then so that is index and index name okay index and index name okay so what is that on which table okay which table you want to create on TBL employee guess okay on which column you want to create on salary column. Okay, and salary column, and which order you want, guys? Okay, and which order? Ascending order or descending order? Okay, ascending order or descending order? You can create that, and then you can create an index. Okay, so like that way we can create an index, and also you can drop the index, guys. Okay, you can drop the index. So by using drop index, okay, index name, okay, index name. This is the index name, okay. Before that, where is that index? On which table you have? So you have to specify the table name also. Okay, on which table you have that index? Okay, so you can drop that index. Okay, like way, like like that way you can drop the index. But so but if you create so this index, okay, so which you created the primary key index. Okay, there is a one more index, right? So let me refresh it. So we have created two indexes. One is a primary key index, and then so there is a primary key index. Yes, okay. You cannot create, you cannot delete. Okay, let me drop. Okay, let me drop it with the, uh, the script. Yes, okay. It will not drop. Okay, so let me uh, take this one. Okay, and then drop here, and then you can remove this one. Okay. Okay. So index. So we am drop. I'm trying to drop the primary key index. Okay, guys. Okay, which I created the primary key and primary key. So I'm trying to create that. So what it is giving an explicitly drop index is not uh, so primary key. Okay, it's being used by primary key. Primary key. When you use the primary key, okay, it will not drop. But when you create like this, so it will be drop. Okay, with the script, guys. Okay. So if you want to try. Even though if you want drop, okay, you can go with the graphical in an in object explorer, you can go there and then you can right click and then you can drop. Okay, you can delete. Okay, it will delete like that. Okay, it will delete like that. Okay, so that is a about the dropping the table space. Okay, dropping the indexes. Okay, now what is the table scan? And what is the index scan and index keep? Okay, what is the table scan and what is the Index, index keep, index seek, and index scan. Okay, let me uh, uh, create. Okay, so without primary key, let me create that without primary key. So I want to show you, uh, you know, what table scan. Okay, I want to show you that table scan. What is the table scan? Okay, so let me uh, execute this data and then, okay, so go with the select statement. Okay, there is an execution plan. Okay, we'll discuss this execution plan uh, at the end of the session, guys. Okay, just uh, uh, so to whether how it is performing and all, and so to know that we'll go for the execution plan. How the query performance and all. So we'll go with the execution plan. Okay, so this is a table scan. So how many physical reads it has been done? How many logical reads it has been done? And everything we can see. Okay, table scan means it's going a sequence order. Okay. Go by sequence order. Okay, that is the table scan, guys. Okay, so when we create an index, okay, suppose if I create an index with the primary key, okay, let me uh, drop this table again. Okay, so again I will create with the primary key. Okay, primary key, and create a table and insert records. Okay, insert records and then execute. Okay, so this time I will see the execution plan. 
this will be index C. Okay, this index scan, not index C. Index scan. Okay, let me see that. Okay, so this is the index scan case. Okay, so when we have the table, okay, when we have an index, it will be very fast. Okay, so this is the index scan. Okay, see the execution plan. It's showing the index scan. Okay, we have a very less amount of records, but I I cannot able to show you the difference. Okay, how max it is performing and all. So it's a very uh, smaller okay uh, cpu cost and uh, operator everything is a small one but i cannot show you but how when the index scan will happen and when the index is, suppose so if i trying to find where id is equal to uh, 2 where id is equal to suppose i, I want to find where is equal, otherwise where id is equal to 20 okay so it will go directly directly to the timber okay why because it has each uh, index will have the row number right so it will go directly to that number Okay, if this time, if you see the execution plan, this time it's a, it will be an indexing. Okay, so in index also you have a where class, then that will be very fast then. Okay, so index also will have the drawbacks case. Okay, index also will have the drawbacks. So for selection, it will be fast, but insertion and update and delete it slow. So we'll discuss that in a ladder. Okay, next part, but we have a different types of indexes. Okay, mainly we will use cluster index and non cluster index case. Okay, hope you understand uh, in table scan and index scan and uh, index seek. Okay, so uh, types of indexes. Okay, mainly we will use two types of indexes. Okay, one is cluster index. Okay, one is cluster index, and another one is non cluster index. Cluster index and non cluster index case. Okay, non cluster. index okay non cluster index okay so this we will discuss in the next part okay in uh, tomorrow session we are going to discuss the cluster index and non cluster index okay which one is a faster and why so this and all so how the index will be and all we'll discuss okay there is a one some other indexes also we are not using but uh, recent uh, days okay there is a column store index also okay column store index so that is also very very important but if, you, if I explain column store index this time, you will not understand. So at the end of the session, I will, okay, end of the uh, tutorial, I will explain the column store index also, okay? That's it for today, guys. So hope you enjoy this class, okay? If you like my uh, uh, video, okay, please like and uh, subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed. And for more videos on MSBI and Power BI and SQL, so please subscribe my channel, guys, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much.